In this video we're going to work with creating a face-based family and in this example we're going to create this bracket or corbel um, as a face-based family so that it can be placed on the face of a wall or on the face of a cabinet or face of a column um, to use in your project. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by using generic model face-based and working with a face-based family is going to feel a little bit different than pretty much any other family type you've worked in because you'll notice when we look at the different elevations it doesn't look like what we're used to seeing so essentially it's going to work the same um, again the intersection of these two reference planes is your insertion point so we're going to build our corbel you know with the top of it here and centered on this line. So just like any other family, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create our reference planes to control it parametrically. And you know, it kind of depends if it's something you're only going to use once, I wouldn't probably go to the effort of making it parametric. I would just build it and load it into your project. But we'll do a little bit of parametrics in here just so you guys, you know, have a feel for it. So let me go ahead and mirror this and we'll dimension it. So we want to do our quality dimension first and then the overall and then we'll also do the height. So I'm going to keep this pretty simple in here. So we'll add a parameter and we'll call this um, width and I will make this type based and height and then of course we want to flex it and I'm going to change my units so we'll change this to inches and then we'll go in and flex it so let's say it's uh, six inches wide and one foot tall. Okay, so everything's moving like it should. We are going to change the category. So we'll put this under we'll put this under specialty equipment. It's not really a, a good place for this kind of stuff in my opinion. So wherever makes sense for you, that's where I would put it. And then if we want to add, um, like we've done in the past, a subcategory, and again this is to help us control, you know, visibility and pen weights and so forth. So we'll just call it um, bracket. Okay. So this is going to be our starting point. So I'm going to pause and let you get this much done, and then we'll, we'll come back and do the actual extrusion. Okay, so let's continue where we left off. Um, I'm going to go to one of my elevations. And I selected that just so you guys could see, you know, which one was the one that I was seeing in that other view. So we also want to add a reference plane to control, you know, how deep this is. So how far it comes out from the face. Um, and we might want to add another one. Um, it just kind of depends on what the shape's going to be. So for now, I'll leave this as it is and we'll assign a parameter to this. We'll call it depth. And let's move this out of the way. So again, we want to flex this. And we'll say it's, I don't know, nine inches deep. Okay. And let me pause for a second and find the picture. Okay, so here's our picture. So it kind of gives me an idea of other things that I might want to control parametrically or lock them down. So, you know, maybe another reference plane here and another one here. Um, same thing for how thick this portion is. It's really kind of a judgment call. If this is something you think you're going to use a lot, then I would go to that effort. If not, I would just lock it. So I think for this example, we'll just dimension and lock it but just so you guys know what's going on. 
So I'm going to draw my extrusion from this elevation. So we'll create a solid extrusion. And just like any other time, we want to snap to intersections. So make sure that you see that X. And then however deep you want this, and we'll come up again whatever distance. Same thing here. And we'll come down two and a half inches. And then I'm just going to do an arc. Okay. And we'll go ahead and finish. And I have not locked anything yet, so we don't want to flex this because it'll probably break, most likely. So let's go ahead and stretch it so that it's at the proper reference planes. Um, width we could safely flex um, without breaking, but the rest of it we need to go back in here and do some modifications. So I'm going to edit the extrusion and we are going to dimension and lock some of this information. So I'm going to dimension this and we're going to lock it. I'm going to dimension this and lock it. So everything that I want to be able to lock, so we can hopefully avoid breaking this. Okay. Okay, so now that I've got some of this locked down, it's better if you try and flex it while we're still in sketch mode, because then we can see where it's going to break, if it's going to break. So I'm going to just flex this, you know, to some different dimensions so you can see how it looks. We didn't lock in a radius so it's just holding on to the portions that we did lock. And let's try this. Okay, so I'm sure at some point we could break it but for now it's working fairly well. So we'll say OK and we will finish the sketch. We probably want to assign a material control, so we'll add a parameter. Um, bracket material. And say OK. And then we'll go in here, since this is type based, and we will add a family type. So width by height is probably good. So 6 inches by 12 inches. And you could create additional ones as, as you need, but for now this is fine. So we'll say OK. And we'll do our Save As. And you're going to put this in your custom content um, folder. So I'm going to pause here and let you guys do that. OK, so I tend to put in here if it's face-based or wall-based or whatever so that I know what to expect when I'm loading it. So we'll go ahead and save. Oops, we'll do a save as. Okay. So now we're going to take it into a test project. And since it is space based, we should probably put something in there for it to attach to. And then we will switch windows and load this into our project. And let's take a look. Okay. So now once it's in here you can array it or copy it, whatever you need to do. And just like anything else that's, you know, parametric, you can edit and duplicate within here. You'll notice that we can assign a material. And if I take a look at visibility graphics and I look at um, specialty equipment, that I've got a category just for brackets. So if I decide to turn it off, obviously, you know, I wouldn't see it except that I forgot to assign it to that subcategory. So let's switch windows and let's go in here and fix that because I want to be able to control that. Okay, so let's save again, load in our project, overwrite, and we'll take a look at 3D. 
and it's gone because I've turned off that subcategory. So there you go.